Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Monday. Okay guys, welcome back to Up and Adam channel two where we give you all of the extra coverage and, and that is exactly what we have today. So I don't know if you guys have heard about this, but there's a new Bravo show and it's following some of our favorite Bravo liberties children. What? It's called Making It in Manhattan and we're gonna give you all of the details. Now, before we get into all of that, I did because we're getting closer and closer. Wanted to make sure that I tell you guys, because I've told everyone, but in case you guys want to come, my birthday is on Saturday, July 6th. It's my 31st birthday. It's at Lamar's in downtown Charleston on King Street. That's going to be at 9.30 p.m. We have a lot of special Bravo Liberty guests, including Monica Garcia from Salt Lake City, Daisy from Below Deck Sailing Out. We have an incredible DJ and a lot of fun stuff. So if you are joining us, then make sure that you RSVP to ASST at upandatomlive.com. Let's get into it. Okay, guys. So this whole new show concept um i don't know how it's gonna work honestly i don't know if these people are gonna be able to hold their own and we're gonna find out but let me just kind of give you guys a backstory thank you to reality blurb the children of the real housewives stars brooks marks son of meredith marks from salt lake city riley burris daughter of candy burris from atlanta ariana bierman also daughter of atlanta's kim solsiak and gia judice daughter of Real Housewives in New Jersey's Teresa, were spotted filming a new Bravo show called Making It in Manhattan. Now, the kids now in their 20s all live in New York. Per source, something happened while recently filming, and it seemingly involved Gia, who FaceTimed her mom. But in a series of photos shared by John Cunahan via at Queens of Bravo on Instagram, Brooks, his mom Meredith, Riley, and Ariana were spotted filming the new Bravo show Making It in Manhattan. Now, meanwhile, a source told the outlet that Brooks and Gia and Kim's daughter were filming with Meredith. Something happened at the table and they all walked away together and Gia was going to FaceTime her mom. Um, I'm just going to share with you guys the little clip of this. That way you can see. So you can see that they're all filming. You can see Meredith on stage with Luann Delisup's. Brooks and Gia and Kim's daughter filming with Meredith. Something happened at the table and they all walked away. A few days ago, Brooks Mark was spotted. He was spotted filming with Gia Judice. Um, you can see that he's right there in the corner. The log line for the new series, Making It in Manhattan, follows a tight-knit group of friends navigating the trials and triumphs of young adulthood. While some hail from the spotlight of well-known families, others have created a legacy of their own, but they're all looking to thrive in the city that never sleeps. Together, they will challenge societal norms, redefine success, juggle personal and romantic relationships, and lean on each other for support in order to turn their new skyline high aspirations into reality. This is all per the network. Okay. Also, Brooks, Ariana, and her boyfriend filming for Making It in Manhattan. So you guys can see. And then you see Bravo and Blaze's comment, I'll take anything right now. Um, okay. Continuing on. Oif. I mean, this is a shit show. No. Back to it. As for now, little is known about how the storylines will be structured or if it will feature the same level of drama as The Real Housewives. Brooks, who's a clothing designer who has often been showcased on Salt Lake City, also did a series called The Growing Up Reality with Brooks Marks, where he interviewed the children of various reality TV stars, including Gia. So this has been a thing, but okay. All right. There you have it. Now, speaking of which, we're not done. Just when you think we're done, you know we're not going to be done because we also have more drama, and it's Lisa Vanderpump addressing Kristen Doty. I mean, these two are, like, never going to get along, I feel. And I feel like this has been a long time coming, but I guess Kristen Doty ended up making fun of Pandora's accent, saying that she doesn't believe that it's real. 
She believes that it's a fake accent. And um, yeah, here we go. <laughs> you can't write this shit. Lisa Vanderpump reacted to Kristen Doty suggesting her daughter Pandora had a fake accent while appearing on a podcast on Tuesday. As she also dished on Vanderpump Villa, sharing her favorite cast member and addressing the Hulu series' potential second season, she clapped back at Kristen, shared her thoughts on the allegations against Andy, and shaded Jax Taylor. Pandy's British. She's a little confused. That's what Lisa said of Kristen on the June 18th episode of Not Skinny But Not Fat. That said, Lisa did note that Pandora sometimes sounds more American. The only thing that I think she might do is put on a little bit of an American accent when she's with her American friends. She went to school in the south of France for many years. She was in America till she was eight, and then she came back to America when she was 19. And her parents are British. They both have a British accent. And she gets everything twisted, Kristen. But regarding the allegations against Andy, which have included Brandy Glanville's sexual harassment claims and Leah McSweeney's suggestion that she was pressured to relapse on The Real Housewives in New York City, Lisa said she didn't believe any of them. I'm a big advocate of Andy Cohen. I love him. And I was very, well, aware and caught off guard about all of these accusations coming against him. When she was then asked about Kristen getting messy on the valley, Lisa, who produces the show, said she expected her to. I'm glad that she's on the show. I'm glad that she's being herself. Now, as for the claims that she never liked Kristen, Lisa pointed out that it was very nice of her to put Kristen on Vanderpump Rules. I was very nice to put her on the show. I did bring the group to the casting and she was a part of the group, but I always felt Kristen was right in the middle of everything and like to stir things up. And even as a waitress, she would make things more complicated than what it was. And that's what I don't like, but I didn't dislike her. I knew she was a part of that friend group and I wanted her to be a part of the cast. Now, as Vanderpump Rules fans well know, the show began in Lisa's West Hollywood restaurant, Sir, and nearly everyone who is featured on the series worked there at some point in time. Over 10 years later, much of the group has moved on and started families, and when it comes to potential Sir returns, Lisa isn't on board with everyone returning to work at her restaurant. She said, Lala, Tom, not Kristen, not Jax. That's what she said about who she wouldn't want to come back. While Lisa's daughter has appeared on her shows on occasion, Lisa and Pandora would never want to follow in her reality star footsteps. She said that Pandora wouldn't want to do that. She said, oh, God, no, she wouldn't. She's more of the mother in our relationship, super smart, chastises me all the time. But when Vanderpump Villa was mentioned, Lisa said her favorite castmate is Marciano, who is so charming. And she said she can't answer whether they'll have a second season. But I think they loved it. And continuing on the podcast, she addressed potential regrets, saying that I don't have many regrets. I try to live life with humor and grace, and I try to make the right decisions. Hmm. Okay, Lisa. I really like Kristen, but I just, I don't know where she pulled out. Pandora has a fake accent. It's like, well, Kristen, you know Pandora well enough to know that her parents are British and she did move back and forth. And so there are going to be elements, British tones and also American tones to her dialect. Right. So what? Anyways, I want to hear what you guys think. Pop off in the comment section. Again, do not forget my birthday's coming up. 31st birthday, July 6th. That's on a Saturday downtown Charleston. If you guys want to come, make sure that you RSVP to A-S-S-T at upandatomlive.com. I want to make sure that you guys are taking care of. It's going to be a great night filled with a lot of surprise guests. And we're going to have so much fun. So I will see you guys then. I love you guys. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.